AP Calculus AB. We want to uh, work on derivatives of exponential functions. In this case, I want to find the extrema of a function here. Um, I think we're going to do the first derivative test. And some people would like to do this a different way, but I think this is the easiest way to do this. So here's my function. I have this function composite, which is this x, right, times e to the power of x. So e to the power of x. I'm showing you this because I want to show you that this is a product rule problem. No more, no less. It's actually, I think, pretty easy to differentiate. So I'm going to go ahead and differentiate this and say that f prime at x, and I'm, again, I'm going to use the power rule, is x times the first derivative times g prime at x. But remember, g prime at e to the x is still e to the x, so e to the x, right? Plus g of x, which is e to the x, times the first derivative of f of x, and the first derivative of x is just 1, so times 1. I hope that's not bad. <clears throat> what I am going to do from there is I'm going to factor this thing out a little bit and say that f prime at x is the same as e to the x times x, the quantity x plus 1. All right? And remember, given the first derivative test, we're, lo we're looking for extreme. I want to know when does this, when does this thing go to 0? Please keep in mind that e is a number that e is a number raised to a power, and this piece right here never goes to zero. So the only chance of finding a zero is when x plus one goes to zero. So I do a bit of side math here and say, when is x plus one equal to zero? Kind of stupid, but when x is equal to negative one, right? So we have x is equal to negative one. So that's the extreme. The question that you're gonna be asked on the AP exam, is it a maximum or a minimum? So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to do the first derivative test. So I'm going to take the derivative to the left-hand side. I'm going to take the derivative of a point to the left of this. So maybe I'll take it of negative 2. Right? So if I take f of negative 2, f of negative 2 is e to the negative 2. So that's 1 over e squared equals 1 over e squared times negative 2 plus 1 is negative 2. So it's going to be less than zero. So the slope on the left-hand side of my point here is, this is not the exact point, but this is the point where x is equal to negative 1. And to the left of that, the slope is negative. So hopefully you can see, I, I think this is going to be a minimum, right? A, a, at least a local minimum. And so I'm, but I'm going to take a point to the right of, to the right of, of negative 1, like f of 1, or I think f of 0 is to the right of negative 1, isn't it? Which give us e to the 0 times 0 plus 1. We know e is a value of about 2.718 and change. 0 plus 1 is 1, so that's going to be greater than 0. So the slope there is greater than 0. So we can say with some certainty that we have a minimum. All right? Look, I hope this was really helpful. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support. If you have comments, please make them. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Good luck. You're going to do great on this exam. Just stick with it. Keep practicing. And if you have any questions that you think I might be able to help you with, please ask. Thanks, you guys.